when you find something that works for you, you just kind of stick with it. For sure. Yeah, these little league ass shoulder pass on. Little league, yeah. <laughs> these are uh, these are the Vikings ones they gave me from five years ago. Those are my Viking shoulder pads that I've taken with me to the Cardinals, Detroit, Vegas, and the Bears. So I've I've had them with me everywhere, and yeah, it just kind of feels like home. When you find the ones you like, you gotta keep them. Gotta keep them. I had some really good preseason games and stuff with the Vikings and in those pads. Kyle Sloter is in at quarterback. Bit of a high snap. Sloter will loft one of the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. When I was with the Minnesota Vikings, I learned really how to be a pro. Being a young guy coming into the league, you don't know the details and the intricate things that go into being a successful quarterback. They brought pressure. We don't want to press pressure. Right look with the nickel coming. Yeah, yeah. Played well in the preseason and stuck with the Vikings for three years and bounced around the NFL. He's been in 26 of the 32 <laughs> NFL buildings. You know, I could just like look up a picture of it on Google and just like circle the ones that I'd been to. It's been a whirlwind, but it's something that I'm I'm blessed and thankful for and thank God for every day. Boy, that dude got some zip on that ball, man. And hey, he got a lot of juice on that ball, man. <laughs> Don't do it. You're about to rear, rear back. Hey, that's it. Good job, Kyle. Nice job, Kyle. Me. Do you know what Kirk Cousins would have done if one of the defensive linemen swatted down the ball on scout team? <laughs> he would have absolutely lost his mind on, which every quarterback in, in the NFL, they're, they're so anal about it. So when we do the walkthrough in the warehouse that on whatever, Jay was on the scout defense, like just giving us a look, and he picks the ball off. Oh. Tempo violation, tempo violation, and then picks it off. He would lose his mind. Tom Brady would have his ass cut. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey. Hey, great job. Great job. Good job, Jay. Good job. I'm going to throw you four jump balls this week. Yeah, I'm going to be four for four. <laughs> How many yards you want to get? Throw that beat. Four jump balls. Man, get out of the way. A guy like myself, you are playing for your football life. Because it's been do or die for me every throw of my career. Now Kyle Sloter gets one more chance here. Hey, Jay. I'm right here, bro. If we do not throw it underneath, no, throw it away. I'm throwing the yes. Jay, deep. Jay, Jay, oh, I'm, you, bro. I'm throwing it to you. Throw it to the end zone. They can kick the game-winning field goal from here. They're chucking this ball deep down the field. You know, basically my coach said it's either got to be a touchdown or a throwaway. Didn't have to leave it up to kicking. But we're thankful that he came down with it and iced the game for us. Kyle Sloter, big time performance and execution. When it came down to crunch time, he stood in there, made a big time decision and throw. A heck of a drive by New Orleans to win this ball game. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Except for you're really not going to do the best. Off day is very important when you are in season. I've got some things that have caught my eye over here. So we went and did some pottery. She's an artsy person, so that's kind of right up her alley. I kind of want to do the no, turtle. No, I don't want that in our house. The turtle it is. All right. Let me get the lay of the land of my turtle. To be honest with you, I don't know why he picked the turtle. The turtles aren't blue. Or are you making? They, you, this is my turtle. Okay, sorry. I'm almost positive that this turtle is going to be the best, the best freaking turtle in the world. I'm going to start going crazy on this turtle. I'm already, I'm already outside the lines. Oh, jeez. He has the artistic skills of probably that turtle. <laughs> it's coming along nice. It's coming along real nice. OK, well, you have to make sure the colors don't end up lining up with one another. I got gotcha. you. So I'm feeling pretty good about my turtle. How is your body feeling? Got a hurt hand, a AC sprain, a pulled groin. Your elbow, your bursa sac. Oh, yeah. I got a bursa sac, elbow. How are you even playing right now? Just gutting it out. I've been waiting for 
five years for an opportunity to, to play. And it, it feels like, you know, I kind of want to kind of want to be out there no matter what. Getting to actually play again is so much fun to so much fun to be out there. Are you getting ready for bubbles? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh, that's sweet. Let's go. I will say he did pretty good. He stayed in the lines a little bit, and he ultimately had probably the better outcome because of the bubble trick. Oh man, no way. I'll be honest, I'm actually impressed. So it started with blue, a little dark green, light green, some yellows in here. I would question his color scheme. Might have missed a few spots on here that I wish I had hit. Not turning it down yet, honey, but we will see if it ends up on display. <laughs> hey, it's Shea Patterson. Thanks for watching this USFL video. For the best USFL fan experience, subscribe below and gain access to the best football content on planet Earth.